Good morning, everybody. Sorry, this new holder, I got a little shaky. I apologize. I am Jeffrey Jansen. Today is September 24th, 2018. It is Monday, Monday, Monday. Let's get this guy, let's get the, the ball rolling this morning. Today is a motivational Monday. We need to start the day out right, okay? Everything you do in life has a purpose. Whether or not you're down and depressed, get your butt up, get yourself out. Quit being depressed and feel sorry for yourself. I don't care if you gotta go through 100 job applications, go through 101, go through 200, I don't care. You get out there and you keep going. The reason why is if you stop, you only fail yourself. You only quit on yourself. Stop quitting, okay? Yes, it is hard out there. Yes, the people are ruthless. Yes, people are rough. But guess what? You're doing this because you matter. You're doing this because nobody else is gonna do it but you. You are important. You make a difference. If you need help, then ask for it. If you need freaking somebody to give you a reference, then ask for it. Quit assuming that everybody knows your problems. Quit assuming that nobody understands what you're going through. Guess what? A lot of people have been in the same situation you're in right now. Now, if you're ahead of the game and you're thinking, oh, I'm top of the world and you quit, no. If you're on top, you still gotta keep going. The reason why is you cannot give up by any standard. You gotta keep moving forward. You gotta get your head out of your butt and keep going. If you're a parent, there's no such thing. I love the commercials on TV nowadays Then when you see the parents say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sick today. I gotta take a sick day from your kids. Bull! You do not take a sick day from your kids. The last few days, I had to freaking meditate a little bit. Basically, that's my way of saying um, I have that very little sleep uh, because I, had, I was going over a few things. I had a bunch of people to work with, and you know what? I got them out of their funk. I helped them get to where they needed to be. What's funny is they could have done it on their own. But they asked me for help and I helped them. And guess what? Now that I taught them how to fish, they don't need my help that much anymore. When they do, it's usually for advice, okay? My whole thing to you is this. Never hold grudges against people. Ask for forgiveness from your enemies, forgive your enemies, and then forgive yourself. The reason why is because you got to get out there. Everybody's like, well, what does this have to do with me? Everything. You hold yourself accountable without even realizing it. And the only person that's gonna keep you down is you. If you gotta go from point A to point B, no matter what the distance, the only person that's gonna get you to point B is you. Now, you can have people help you along the way, you can have people energize you, motivate you, you know, root you on. I am your biggest fan club. Remember that right now. I can't carry you on my back to get you to the finish line, but I can sit there and root you on. I can tell you, you're gonna be in the middle of this race and you're not gonna see the start line and you're not gonna see the finish line. What is the race? The race could be you're going to boot camp. You're getting ready to go to basic training. You're getting ready to go to a new job. You're getting ready to go to college. You're getting ready to go to your job that you go to every day and you don't see it as a job anymore. You see it as a freaking life burden. You're sitting there getting ready, you're retired and you don't know what to do anymore. You're gonna get out there and you're gonna freaking get your butt in the gear and you're gonna know that there is a plan B. There is somewhere you can be that's gonna make a difference in your life. Craig, I love you, buddy. I know you gotta run. Remember this, I believe in you. Go out there and get that job today. If not, call me up and let me help you, okay? If you don't think you can do it, then ask for my help. I had somebody I didn't even know call me this morning. Somebody from New Jersey who is a great person who needed my help. I didn't know that I was getting through to them, but guess what? They needed help this morning. Seven o'clock this morning, my phone rings from a person from New Jersey asking for my help. I helped them and they were grateful for it. Hey, if Steve Hammond comes on, I want everybody to tell him that I'm wearing my Marine Corps hat, okay? Because you know why? The Marine Corps is motivating, but that doesn't mean it's for everybody. The Army is motivating, that means it's for everybody. Some of you all, you don't take wise by people yelling at you or getting into your face. I get that. But you got to understand that if you do not go for that job, somebody else will. If you don't go for that sale, somebody else will. If you don't go for taking that chance in life, somebody else will. And you know what? They're going to get it. And you're going to wonder for the rest of your life if you could have got it or not. Or you may just convince yourself you couldn't have. Well, guess what? I got news for you. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what side of the tracks you're on. If you don't go for it, there's a 100% chance you're never going to get it. If you take a chance and you fail, great, you learn what not to do. If you keep failing over and over and over again, great, you just took that chance and failed. That's a positive, why? Because 
For every chance you take, you're learning what to do and what not to do. If you do not learn to fail in life, you will never succeed. I, can, I would rather go and study 100 people that have failed over and over and over in their life than study all the successful people in the world. Why? Because the people that failed, I want to learn what not to do. A lot of books I tell people to read are not motivating books. They're just showing you what things people did and they failed at and what not to do. So in other words, so you don't go out and repeat the same mistakes. You matter in life, but you only matter if you go out and step outside the box, step outside your comfort zone. People don't always understand what it means to step outside their comfort zone. It means do things you're not used to doing. Go places you're not used to going. If, if there was a thing when I was in the Marine Corps, I got out and there was a road in my hometown. Nobody ever went down, you know, it's not, it was, I, I got so used to going the same route day in and day out that I stayed with what I got used to. I was in my comfort zone. One day I was like, you know what, I gotta really stop this because I wanna see what else is there. So I started taking different routes. And I started learning what my mom taught me when I was younger. They used to take rides to go look at houses throughout town. You know, they like to look at all the different houses. They like to, and I could never understand what she was doing by doing that. But she was actually teaching me and my sister, you know, before she died, she was teaching us to don't settle for the same things. Don't settle going the same direction day in and day out. Don't settle for going down the same roads. Always learn to take new roads, take new directions, you know. Learn what else is out there. Try new avenues. Because if you get stuck in your comfort zone, it's going to take somebody to tell you to get out of your comfort zone because you don't even realize you're in it. And the people around you, they're in your comfort zone. They don't know they're in it either. Right now, I'm here telling you, you are in your comfort zone. You are where your safety net is at and you don't know how to get out. And I'm telling you right now, that you need to get out of that comfort zone. You need to go put in resumes in areas you never thought you'd ever get a job at. You need to take college courses you never dreamed and get out of the dang frisbee throwing con, you know, places, you know. Take more history classes, take more business classes, read more self-improvement books. Why? Because they're not gonna teach you how to do this stuff on your own in college. The only thing they're gonna teach you in college and in high school is how to follow what the boss says. Follow the assembly line techniques, okay? A lot of you need jobs, I get that. So start looking in areas that you are proficient in and start putting in your resumes. Now remember, I'm saying resumes for a reason. When I used to be a brick and mortar store person and I own businesses, I would hire somebody that had a resume over somebody that just gave me a simple application. You know why? A resume shows that I am more important, my work environment is more important than just a simple application that you fill out. I want my job that where I hire somebody to be the most important person in somebody's mind. And I wanna hire the most qualified people. Well, who are the most qualified people? It's not the book people. The most qualified people are the go-getters. The most qualified are the ones that I can trail it. Give you a Kadobe. Kadobe restaurants for an example. They don't like hiring anybody that have worked in other restaurants. Why? They want energized, motivation people that they can train that are willing to learn. And for that, you get paid a little bit more. And you want to know something? The other day I went into Kadobe with my daughter. And you want to know something? The people in there are extremely nice. They're extremely fast. And you want to know something? They're extremely fluent in what they need to know and what they needed to learn. So their business idea works. But you gotta get out of the idea of submitting an application and putting down things of places you've been before. You need to put in a resume. Go to a library and learn how to resume. You wanna learn how to write a resume? Call me up, go to a library. But if you're going for a new job or you wanna get into somewhere new, learn to write a resume. If you're going for a business plan, learn to write a good business plan for a good business model and then constantly update it when you learn more stuff. The reason why is because if you just take a blank sheet or somebody that writes everything for you, it doesn't mean anything. You have to show who you are through your work. You know, if you take a little effort in writing a resume, the people that are reviewing those resumes, they're gonna take a little extra time to actually read through your entire resume, which means you now have an advantage over somebody that just turned in an application. If you're going for a new job, if you're going for a new business model and you write a good business plan, okay, and you actually write it up, of course you get it, gotta get help with it, but when you write it up 
and it's basically from you and how you wrote up the business plan, if you write it up, people are going to take a little extra time to read through the business plan that you made, not just the thing you got off the internet and wrote up just that everybody uses. The reason why is because if you take the time to write it, the people that are truly interested in, or the investor, they're going to take the time to read it because you took the time to write it. Now, if you have to improve on stuff, great. Guess what? They'll also give you advice. Even if they do not come on with you, they're going to start telling you things that you need to know to put in that resume that's going to get to the next person. In other words, sure, you didn't get them, but if you take the advice from them and then apply it to what you're doing. Now, the other thing is persistence. You might have to go put in a resume or an application 26 times. You may have to go after that girl like uh, Grant Cardone. It was really, really funny. He chased after his wife and called her 26 times. Why? Because he knew who he was. Hey, Steve Hammond, that's your own look. I got my Marine Corps hat on, buddy. Anyway, going back to what I was talking about, Steve Hammond just gone. Hey, John Hills. Look, when you go out to do something in life, you have to put yourself behind it. Don't take everybody else's credit or everybody else's work. Use your own work, okay? And people will understand that. When you're going to get a new job and you, or you're going to go get a new business and you want people or business, don't use somebody else's techniques. Use your own. The reason why is the old techniques are the reason why the other places didn't work or the other reason why everybody got bored with everything. Sure, I can open up a bar and it'll be the same Cheers bar. Well, guess what? Everybody else owns the exact same place. Do something different. Think outside the box. You know, not my business is what I do is not right for everybody, but it's a great business model to understand what to do and what not to do. You matter in life. So if you want something, this is a motivational Monday. Get your butt out of your chair. Go out and make a difference. If you want to stay on social media and complain all day long, I don't care what you got to say if you don't do anything about it. If you want to go out there and make a difference in the world, start with yourself. Tell yourself every day in the mirror. But pretend my tablet is the mirror. I'm parked now, by the way, if anybody asks. This is my mirror. Hey, Jeff, you matter. You got this. You can do it. You make a difference. Go out there and make a person's difference. Go out there and be kind to one person today. Matter to one person today. You know what? You are going to achieve your goals. I don't know when, but you're going to achieve it. I'm going to achieve my goals by January. I'm going to achieve my goals by December. And here's how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to write it out. And when I write it out, I'm going to hold myself accountable every single day to the things that I do. It's funny because I can go into a meeting and I can tell everybody the goals that we need to go and set. And everybody's like, oh, he no. We have to achieve these goals. We have to go get them. It's not my fault they're not on the same sheet of music. But if I sit there and go constantly and I show consistency over and over and over, eventually other people come on and I achieve my goals. I can achieve my goals through determination, persistence, and believing in myself. That's what each and every one of you has to do. It doesn't matter if you're retired. It doesn't really matter if you're in a job you don't like. It doesn't matter if you're in college or getting ready to join the military. Today, I've taken all that on, and it's only, what, 1030 my time? And I've already taken on 15 to 20 people that have been in every walk of life that are looking for something. Today, you matter. Go out there and achieve what you want. Go out there and get pissed off at the world so that you can go out there and make a difference. Get pissed off at the news. Get pissed off at the right. Get pissed off at the left. But go out there and make a difference and show the world that you matter and what your viewpoints are matter. But do not humiliate anyone else by doing it. Go out there and prove your worth by, by actions, not by talk. I'm Jeff Jansen. Each and every one of you matters. I hope you all have a blessed day today. I hope each and every one of you understands that we lead by example. We don't lead by, you know, telling somebody. A manager will sit there and whip you to death. A leader will get out there and pull with you. Be a leader, not a manager. Be a doer, not a talker. Anything I tell you, I've already done. I'm a Marine. I earned that. Okay, I've been a business owner. I've failed many, many times. I own that. I own my failures because guess what? I've also been very successful at stuff that I've done. I own that also. I have read books that I've liked. I've read books I've hated. I've been to college. I own that. I failed many times in college. I own that. But I also graduated. I own that also. I learned my history. I learned people. I earned it.
but I also earned all my failures that I had in life. I earned the ridicule that I've taken upon myself, but I've also earned the praise. But here's just it. I have a long ways to go before I truly feel that I'm successful. And the only way I'm going to become successful is when I'm dead and in the ground and I've made a difference in your life. So that means the rest of my life, I have to make a difference in yours. Why? Because you matter, you're important, you are loved, and you need to know it. You are loved and you need to know it. So I don't accomplish my job until I can help you accomplish what you want in life. Help enough people get what they want in life and they will help you achieve what you need. It may not be the same field of work they're in, but if you can motivate them, you can support them, you can back them. And if you're around people that are nothing but naysayers, drama, all this and that, get rid of them. Because they don't matter because all they're doing is preventing you from being who you are and living up to your full potential. Because each and every one of you matters. Each and every one of you can achieve what you want if you put enough hard work, blood, sweat, and tears in it. Guess what? It means nothing if it's not hard to get. But guess what? You have to learn to fail first. Because with every fail, you're going to learn something new, what not to do, that leads to success. You succeed once, but you can fail thousands of times. It's okay to fail. As long as you get back up, brush yourself off, get rid of the naysayers, get rid of the bull crap, get rid of the people that don't care. If you're a parent that doesn't hang around your kids, you'd rather be in the bars, you are wrong. You are wrong. If you're a parent that's out there that, you know, you go to work every day for your kids and you come home and your kids come first, you're correct. It's not easy to be a parent. It's not supposed to be. You're not your kid's best friend. You are their parent. They're learning everything you do. They're going to make the same mistakes you do. But if you get back up from those mistakes, they're also going to learn that they can get back up also. If you tell them every day you love them, you need to have a hard love on them. Do never abuse your kids. Never sit there and ridicule them or belittle them. Tell them every day you love them. Show them firsthand what it means to be successful. Show them what it means to help somebody. Show them what it means to help an old lady cross the street. Or show them what it means to go out and shake a vet's hand. Show them what it means to get off social media and be a better person to your community. Show them what it means to get, it, to get exercise, you know. Put out the cigarettes if you're a smoker. Show them it takes discipline to stop things, but it's hard. But with hard work comes the rewards. You matter every day. And if you're just now tuning into this, you need to go back to the beginning of this and listen to what I have to say. Every day you matter. But every day it is up to you to make a difference. Just because you don't see the start line anymore or the finish line doesn't mean there's not a finish line. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get there. It just means you got to have more determination to get to the point B. And you'll get there. I promise you will get there. But it's going to take work. It's going to take effort. You want a new kind of job? Earn it. You want to get in new college courses? Earn it. You want to get, you know, write a resume. You want to open a business? Then do it. But earn it. Figure things out. Find the people you need to work with to get it. Sometimes things in life, you're going to need other people's help. You need to figure out how to get that help. You need to figure out how to be courteous to people, how to respect people. You got to figure out how to get away from the naysayers and the people say they're so far in their comfort zone. They don't want you to get out of your comfort zone because then they know they're going to lose you because they don't want to get out of their comfort zone. They don't want to risk anything. Life is part of risk. Be a better person. Do it for yourself. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself every day you matter. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I don't know if what I say or do makes a difference in your life, but you matter. You're important. And you need to go out there and you need to take on the world and not hide from it because you matter. The world needs you today. If you're depressed or suicidal, put on some motivating music. Get rid of the depression music, okay? Go out there and I'm going to tell you right now, you matter and I want to see you at the top. If you need help, call me. Ask me. I don't care. I'll help anybody because I believe in each person because I had people in my life that believed in me when I was at my worst. I also had people kick me when I was down, spit on me, and I meant nothing to them. And when I was at my worst, they thought they'd make it worse. I just got rid of them in my life. I forgave them. I asked forgiveness for them for letting them take up too much time in my brain. And even though they didn't give me 
that forgiveness, I forgave them. And then I forgave myself for allowing them to have a part of my life and taking up my time. Ask forgiveness from others. Ask forgiveness for yourself. Forgive others and forgive yourself. And you will see a big difference in your life every single day. I'm Jeffrey Jansen. I hope you have a great day today. It is Monday. Go out there and make a difference. Get crazy if you have to. I don't care what it takes. Just do it because you matter. God bless everybody. I thank the world of each and every one of you. If you need my help, 217-316-0219. Call me up. Let me help you. Or call a friend that you know will help. Or call a parent. But always, always move forward. Have a great day, everybody. God bless. I'll see you soon.